Hello everyone! This is your Diet Doctora, Doc Grace, Dr. Josephine Grace Rojo, and I'm in, but I am cooking! So, at the pot, tonight, today we will do a live cooking show, although hindi naman talaga to tong cooking show to. Ano lang, I will just show you how I prepare a salad, and this thing, this outfit is a gift from my sister. So, thank you so much to my Manang Koy. She gave me this gift. Pero okay naman, no, if I will really wear this. So, wag na lang. Okay lang. Pa-show lang yan. So, but this one, I will wear because I will prepare a salad. Two kinds of salad. The first one will be cooked and the, the other one would be fresh. Okay? So, I will show you what I have here. Sandali lang. We can see. Hello to everyone. Hello. 448 live viewers right now. Maraming salamat po. We are here in Dubai. And... Magluluto tayo kasi marami nang ano, magkasto sa labas. So, luto na lang tayo. And actually, these are the what's left of our food from last night's meet and greet. Nag-yat cruise po kami. So, thank you so much sa lahat po ng umatend. I am so happy and honored to be to be able to meet you and more so in this beautiful city. So, yung salad natin una, greens lang. So, ano ba yung component ng salad? So, mostly... Mixed greens lang, just vegetables. Any kinds of vegetables are okay. Sa salad, mostly low-carb naman talaga yan. Yung high-carb lang siguro dyan would be the crotons. Yung mga maliliit na cubes na mga bread. But generally, it's all low-carb. So we have mixed vegetables here. So any mixed vegetables is okay. Fresh, that's already good to go. You can add tomato. tomatoes. So these are cherry tomatoes. You can put it there. And you can also have, kung gusto nyo merong konting tamis, we have some berries here. Kung meron kayong strawberry, that can also be done. And we have some nuts para maging masaya yung ating buhay na merong nuts for those of you who wants to have a little crust. And sa iba, they are using certain oils na hindi ko alam if it's nice. But if you can have like pure olive oil, that would be better. Nasa na yung olive oil dito? It's gone. But if ever naman ayaw nyo ng mamantika, ayaw nyo ng sobrang oily, you can just take any salads without dressing. Yung mga guests natin last night, they were surprised. Meron dong mga nag-attend, our friends from SuccessCon and from Conver Conversion Engine. Hello to all of you. Na first time daw nila na makakain ng salad without the dressing. And they were surprised na pwede palang kainin. Yes, sobrang dali pong kainin yung salad. Okay na okay lang kahit walang dressing. So I'll put this in a bowl. So that we can mix it well. So here's a salad bowl. Okay. So here's a salad bowl. And then, lagay lang natin yung ating greens. You can take a look here. Lagay natin dito yung greens. So it's all clean na naman. If you want some spices, you can just put that. So, di ba? Yung cherry tomatoes, if you want to cut, okay lang. But if you are okay with it naman na hindi na-cut, okay lang din. Lagay mo na lang dyan. So it's just the cherry tomatoes there. Masarap yung cherry tomatoes eh. Medyo manamis-namis. And you can also have some blueberries para merong, merong konting tamis. You can put it there. If you want some cheese, so you can have some cheese. Pwede yung kakaunti, lagyan mo ng cream cheese. For this one, lagay tayo ng mga kakaunting cheeses. These are, ano ng cheese ito? I think these are just soft, soft cheeses. Soft cheddar cheeses. This one's yung mga triangle. Salad master. I don't use oil. I use salad master. That's good. Hello to the ones in Japan. Yes, don't forget about your electrolytes. Next schedule for coaches. And then for coaches, yan, we have an ongoing masterclass. If you want to know about it, just message our admins. Please make sure that you are contacting our official admins. And yon, yun pa yung assignment ko sa inyo. After my trip, bukas po, uuwi na ako. Uuwi na ako, pero matagal pa ako uuwi, no? I'll still be having another event in, in Cebu. And mag-layover pa ako in Singapore. And it will take a while, but meron ako mga assignments sa inyo. And one of that would be to establish our LCF Masterclass page para doon na po natin i-course through lahat yung major nating mga major na ating uh, enrollments when it comes to our platform. Meron akong nakita ditong Mayo. 
egg-free mayo. Although, I'm okay na naman with egg-full mayo eh. But this one is also low-carb. Pero tingnan nyo, oh. Sunflower oil, water, rapeseed oil. It's really not a good kind. So, no. It's ano, uh, kung ano lang sana, kung wala yung rapeseed oil. These are all, and agave syrup, these are all hiding under a healthy oil. But it's really not healthy. So, we will not use this. And we can just have our plain salad. And we can put our... Our olive oil. Right? For the olive oil, a little olive oil, and some of our spices. Okay? We get curry, we get basil, and crushed pepper, and of course, some salt. Pure salt. Okay, so we have salt here. Meron ni tayo ng ano dito? Pink salt. Himalayan pink salt. So here, meron tayo pink salt here. You can have a little of that. <laughs> so you can get that para meron tayong sa ating salad but we will do another one, another one na parang ano, cabbage milk lagyan natin ng, ng uh, spices so that we can have those so just basic green salad is already okay kung gusto nyo ng a little extra proteins so you can add nuts, so yung nuts natin nandito is just walnut Almond and ah here macadamia macadamia so lagyan natin para meron namang source ng protein otherwise kasi kulang talaga yung proteins if salad lang so for those who are not vegetarian you can just have eggs you can add meat you can add uh, fish kung gusto nyo on the side so pwede yan pwedeng pwede yan nagtanong how to do low carb na on a budget just the usual food that you eat you remove the carbohydrates. Actually, mas makakasave pa kayo. Ganun lang, kasimple ang buhay. Huwag kailangan i-complicate. But of course, I'm so sorry to say na for those na meron ng medical conditions, of course, uh, we have to do it the guided way. Kasi nga, hindi naman, na, hindi naman namin kayo sinisisi. But of course, we've already crossed a certain point na kailangan talaga may guidance na to make sure also that it's just safe on your part. Okay? So, there's our salad looking beautiful already. So, yan. Oh, pwede na ba? So, yan lang. And then, I just added some salt and pepper para merong lasa. And you can add all the spices para meron ka na makain. So, now, we will prepare our, our cabbage milk. So, this is just a white cabbage. Ano yan? Repolio? Repolio lang, ha? So, it's just white cabbage. And then... We will just mix it with some cheese. It's just a cheese melt. So, meron akong, anong ilang klase yung cheese ko dito? Tatlo. I have cream cheese. So, this one. Okay. I'll just put the ones here. Tapos, lagyan natin ng spices. Lahat ng spices na gusto ninyo. Okay? If you have spices that you like, like in here, meron itong curry and turmeric. It's not new. It's not, I don't know, it's not usual for us Filipinos to use this because we are not used to having this all the time. So I just put here, mix lang natin, some turmeric and some curry powder para merong lasa yung ating, para siyang Middle uh, Indian, Middle Eastern na vegetable melt. Okay. So, nandiyan na siya. And then you can just add, this is shredded natural cheddar. You can also have mozzarella if you want, if gusto niyo yung parang lumalapot talaga. You can just add that. And then, add some salt always. Although with cheddar, siya na yung magiging salty, no? so no need to put salt na. Kasi siya na yung, siya na yung parang salt blend. You can add cream cheese. So we have cream cheese here. Para malagay natin. How are you everyone? Oh, oh, hi to our master class. Nakatapos lang natin ng master class na live Q&A for this Saturday. So 
bukas magsisimula na yung ating 21 day na master class for 4 hour autoimmune allergies asthma kung sino sa inyo may mga kilala na merong allergies usually let me guess hindi sila tumataba no hindi sila tumataba kahit anong kain nila ng rice kahit anong kain nila ng carbs and that's really one thing talaga when it comes to to individual differences iba-iba yung effect ng carbohydrates sa atin so other people sometimes they tend to be complacent kasi sabi nila pwede ako magkumain ng unlimited rice every day kasi hindi naman ako tumataba but look ano yung result sa kanila yung result sa kanila it can appear as as inflammation allergies eczema meron ding iba nga nagkakaroon ng tumors and cancers merong mga mga iba yung GERD or anxiety so hindi natin alam what will be the effect on that individual Pero alam natin na walang sino man ang immune sa effect ng too much carbohydrates, too much insulin in the system. So that's why we are doing this the low-carb way. So nilagyan ko lang ng cream cheese and the, and the cheddar cheese and then we mix it and then put some toppings. Lagyan natin ng toppings. What is this? More curry powder on top. We will see kung meron silang ano dito. Others. Chili powder? Where's the chili powder? Walang chili chili powder ata dito. This is thyme. This is oregano. Just black pepper. And then we put always. Kasi gusto natin. Maganda pa rin naman. So we can, we, I will no longer add this. I will just add a little cream. This is cooking cream. So this is full fat cream. <laughs> Napaka strong ng scent ng pepper. Black pepper. <laughs> And then add cheese on top, more cheddar cheese. So for those of you, cheddar and cheeses are in our caution list because other people might have inflammatory effects. Okay, pwede silang mag-gloating, pwede silang magkaroon ng hormonal problems if they are intolerant to cheese and dairy. So be mindful if you are tolerant or not. So eto lang siya and then we will put it in the microwave. Just put that in 30 seconds. So, kamusta kayo lahat? Yes, please refer to, to JGC Rojo Food List. And so, sa mga ngayon pa lang pumunta, we are cooking here. Aching muna ako ha, sandali lang. Grabe yung pepper. Thank you so much. Grabe yung mga spices talaga. So, lipitin na natin. So, we have yung essentials talaga. Importante sa lahat. We just be salt. So, any salt will do. Tofu is low carb, but it's part of the caution list. Okay? So, but in general, for other practitioners, they are okay with tofu because it's high protein. But personally, since I've had people who have not so good experience with tofu and then meron ding conflicting results in many studies, it can be inflammatory for some. So para siyang cheese and dairies, especially na halos 99.9% .9 of the tofu in the world are already from GMO. Mga genetically modified na sila na mga pagkain. So we can't really expect so much from that. And as much as possible, avoid talaga. Okay, so hello to the one in Tokyo. Yun, oh, atopic dermatitis. So yun, th those are the parts of autoimmune diseases na kailangan natin i-tackle. So our next masterclass na live would be that, including including infection. So we also will tackle about infections. So we will see. And next. Okay. Hindi pa siya luto. We will see it melting, but it's already melting. Tapos na siya. And that's already done. Pwede na kayong magkaroon ng, ng salad, both kind. So we have fresh salad. So these are just mixed greens. And then cherry tomatoes, salt, mixed nuts, almond, macadamia, and walnut. At saka blueberry. So yung blueberry, mga ito, optional lang ito. Ah. Para lang siya pampaganda at pampasaya. And some cheeses also. 
Is it hot? Is it hot? Hindi naman. So it's melting. Hindi pa masyado mainit. We will cook again. Okay, para mainit. Yan. How are you everybody? Thank you sa the ones in Paranaque. Maraming salamat. Do you have questions for me? Ang cream cheese po ba? Pwede po ba sa akin? Asidik ako. Before you, uh, although the cheese and dairies are in our caution list, but if you want to have them, you can try to have them have a food log. I-lista, ilista po parate what are you eating so that you will know, so that you will know kung alin dito yung pwede mo talagang kainan na hindi ka nagre-react because what, individually magkakaiba po. But before you suspect na meron kayong allergies to cheese and dairies, try to remove muna the carbohydrates, the sugar, the fructose, and the inflammatory oils. So, good thing walang oil dito except for the ones in here, no? Mm -mm. Yung rapeseed oil, yung cottonseed oil, canola oil, those are really the bad oils na we should really avoid. Wag po yan, just focus on coconut oil. Medyo strict lang kami ng konti because others are are always using olive oil. Although olive oil has high high uh, temperature level when it comes to oxidation and heat heat levels na tolerance before it gets rancid. Pero generally, it is best to take olive oil, virgin olive oil, extra virgin olive oil in their raw form. So sa salad ninyo, you can take them, you can add them to your, drizzle them to your food. But for cooking, safe yung... Uh, alam nothing very stable in heat and that would include coconut oil and also lard okay so yeah i think it's melting now yeah. so it looks better so yeah it's already melted so yeah so we have two so this is cabbage melt okay wag wag hindi ko lang dinamihan masyado para hindi masyadong oa yung cheese okay Cabbage melt, and then there's fresh salad with green, with all the greens. Iba't ibang klaseng greens. And the cherry tomato, it looks pretty. At yun, marami pang extra dito. So maybe another day, another time, kung nandito pa ako. But that's it. So when it comes to salad, mostly yung kailangan mo lang isipin or may, you have to be cautious about would be the salad na mga additives. So if there's mga syrup, honey, try to avoid that. The, kahit yung mga dressing, you try to avoid. If you have to put dressing, try to put extra virgin olive oil. Balsamic vinegar would be okay as well. Or vinaigrette. Or for me, totoong suka talaga. So vinegar, I love vinegar. So I put vinegar in my salad. Uh, pinakurat, okay? Or in or, or in bakalad, it's sinamak. Okay, or any any is any suka, any vinegar would be okay, and then add a little salt always to make sure na yung lasa is paganda, and you also have the enough electrolytes coming from salt because if you are not taking care of your salt, when in low carb, mas marami pong problems na mangyayari. You will have electrolyte imbalance and so many other problems na nakukur palpitation, hindi makatulog parating nanghihina, nagkakaroon ng leg cramps, nagkakaroon ng headache, they feel dizzy, sometimes they feel anxious, parating kinakabahan. So before jumping into conclusions, try to look muna your electrolyte intake and if ever you are still not familiar with that, join our group's Life Without Tries and Low Carb Feasting and Fasting Community. Nandun po sa ating announcement and guides, we have some ideas there about how to reach your uh, sodium, potassium, magnesium needs in a day. So maraming salamat everybody. I hope to see you again in our next video. Baka tonight we will prepare a cheese board for you guys to see and hopefully you can have that on your next event or gathering. Para low carb pero masaya pa din. We are still gonna enjoy this life and save our food more, the better way because we know we are not damaging our health we are not risking or putting our health on the line just so we can enjoy food we can have the best of both worlds enjoy the food but still be healthy and still be at the top of our health so maraming salamat everyone thank you very much for always being here 
try to share this video if you can, and you can also rewatch it in our YouTube channel. If you can subscribe, that would be a pleasure on my part. It would be an honor, and I will continue to do more and be better for you so that you can also have the best of health. So stay low carb, stay safe. Maraming salamat po. Goodbye. Have a good day. Have a good weekend.